This guy, they just was talking. For a white Ford F-150 truck believed to be the getaway car for the man who killed a greater Memphis chamber. Two men are in jail after a car chase Friday morning. Good evening, I'm Mary Jo Ola. Shimontre Reed and Quandarius Richardson were arrested. <laughs> Shimontre and Quandarius. <laughs> what the hell is with these names? <laughs> Salute the Mayo Monkey, man. Uh -huh. Mayo Monkey say st Stockholm Syndrome from the hood. Your mom's naming them. Did, Jesus. Yo, Aquarius. Somebody, I was watching some shit like in California, like 80% of the black names that one year was just made up. They were like the first time ever, ever. Yeah, man. This shit is bad, man. And these <laughs> kids don't have a chance. I mean, they, they didn't have a chance. They, I mean, they were already behind the eight ball, but just like God, give them a chance. Who like if he go, if he go for Airbnb, there's no way I'm seeing his name on the fucking thing and fucking written to his ass. Hell no. I'm Mary Jo Ola. Shimontre Reed and Quandarius Richardson were arrested. Both face multiple charges, including auto theft and evading arrest. Police were looking for a white Ford F-150 truck believed to be the getaway car. For the man who killed a Greater Memphis Chamber president and CEO, Phil Trenary, Thursday. Cops tried to stop a stolen truck matching that description Friday, but the men led them on a chase. It ended in a crash with two other cars at McLemore and Mississippi in South Memphis. Police have not said whether the men are tied to the shooting that killed Trenary, but mourners continue to wait for answers. Local 24's Annette Pegler is in Northeast Memphis with tonight's continuing coverage. Mary Jo, as Memphis police continue to search for Phil Trenary's shooter, local organizations are still in shock by his death. The founders of the Coalition of Concerned Citizens say Trenary was a champion for Memphis and met them at the table to get things done. Kadron Franklin and Al Lewis, the founders of the Coalition of Concerned Citizens, are still trying to process the news that one of the men who supported their organization is gone. The group met Trenary during a protest against the Memphis Chamber in Memphis Tomorrow in 2016. Phil came down uh, and invited us uh, to come up. I thought, man, what a heads up move. Even though we were angry, uh, I had to respect him. I didn't know him. I, I said, man, that's a real, real smart move. That conversation fostered a relationship between them for years to come. The group's members say Trenary helped improve pay for temp workers and minority contracts for businesses in Memphis. Phil actually put some pieces in place for that. There was something uh, called the gold status that he started putting in place to make sure temp agencies was paying $12 an hour contractually. The untimely news of Trenary's death affected the coalition tremendously. It hurt. It hurt a lot. You know, I, it actually sunk in this morning and I, I cried. I shed some tears about Phil because he didn't deserve that. Lewis and Franklin say Trenary had a lot of responsibility in the strides Memphis has made. Although Trenary wasn't from the Bluff City, they say he gave back to it as if it was his hometown. And they are praying an arrest is made soon. But he's a very powerful, powerful man. And uh, he knew where power uh, uh, lied in Memphis. And so by him being, if he was indeed assassinated, I can see businesses not wanting to do business in Memphis. I reached out to Memphis police to see if there are any updates. With the conspiracy theory, he was assassinated. <laughs> it is one of those things, though, Ock. It's like every time someone's doing something good, they just get fucking murdered. I ain't gonna lie. When I first heard this, I thought somebody assassinated him, too. Yeah, of course. Because of his position know. and who he's he was. Deep. He's been trying to make it deep. It ain't that but deep. But then, I know, but then when I realized yeah, what happened, I'm like, oh, it was just a bunch of hood boogers. <laughs> yeah, it just, it always is, too. I mean, now, don't get me wrong. People get assassinated. Maybe Jeffrey Epstein was assassinated. This shit, this is street shit. Well, today, a trial date set in the murder of Phil Trenary, the former president and chief executive officer of the Greater Memphis Chamber. Trenary was killed while running through downtown Memphis in 2018. Today, McKinney Wright and Quandarius Richardson. <laughs> Who the both fuck is McKinney? Who the fuck is the other guy? Shot Shaiman Trade Day. What the fuck is <laughs> they? They replaced him with a fucking. <laughs> Damn. They went full sun with this one. Shit. Both accused in the murder appeared in court. They're expected back in court December 5th for the trial. Back in 2018, Richardson was arrested at the scene, while Wright and a 16-year-old female were arrested the following day. 
Witnesses told police the two were riding in a stolen truck in downtown Memphis in September of 2018. One man got out and snuck up behind Trenary, shooting him in the head. Police. <laughs> well, I mean, Jesus Christ, he was jogging. He, what are they going to do? Take but a other than that, it him. was there was no issue. Jesus, I mean, they just killed him. Like, okay, that was an assassination. I mean, but it wasn't for a reason. So we're both right. They did assassinate him, but they assassinated him for no reason, for fun. Not, not going to say no reason for fun. Like, they, look, I bet you, I bet you won't go shoot his head. Man, I smoked that nigga. You scared. Scared, give me the gun. Put on. I mean, it's that quick and your life is gone. Yeah. For 2018, one man got out and snuck up behind Trenary, shooting him in the head. Police charged Richardson, Wright, and Rakanisha Wright with first degree murder. Rakanisha? <laughs> yeah, Rakanisha back in jail for murder. Rakanisha. Rakanisha. Go oh, Rakanisha. God. Nice Rakanisha. Ain't that what uh, Is this Memphis? Smith got? Rakanisha on her head? Oh, my God. Yeah, this Memphis. Nice Rakanisha. Oh, I'm sure there's got to be some, some people named Alopecia. Oh, my God. Jeez. I know you Alopecia. You know there an alopecia. You go. Yeah. And she's beautiful. She's pretty. That's what I ugly name. Gun Rakanisha. Nice Rakanisha. Right. <laughs> right. And Rakanisha Wright with first degree murder. Rakanisha was 16 and her case was handled in juvenile courts. Investigators say the three were looking for someone to rob. <laughs> Trenary was a leader in the community. In his time at the chamber, his colleagues say Trenary fought poverty and got a lot of backlash for it. People wanted him to solely focus on luring businesses to the city, but Trenary knew that prosperity and the city's people and business grow. Heard that? They was like, focus on just getting businesses in. He wanted to fucking help these fucking wretched sun people and shit. And look what he got. He, he didn't want to help the sun people. He just knew that you get more businesses if. The sons wasn't robbing everybody that was down there. He had he had vision. They, they will Man. rob you with two jobs. Yo, yo, Rakanisha sound like a combo at a barbecue joint. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Give me a Rakanisha and some hush puppies. They'll you know get off. Is. They'll get off their FedEx job and rob you. Yep. <laughs> On payday. It's, it's a lower <laughs> chance, though. We gotta agree that the chances are lower. He knows what no, he's dealing with. No, it's not like they will rob you on they on payday when they get off work. They don't care. Yeah. Look, maybe for the first two generations, but if we starve these motherfuckers like, like AP was talking about, it's gonna be a bloodbath. They're not getting it anyway. Because <laughs> they're able bodied men. They're not they're not qualifying for food stamps, all this stuff anyway. No, so they man, don't it's, care. It's, it's a mindset that you gotta get rid of. This wasn't always like this. Like people weren't always named Rakanisha. This is like fifth generation team mom. Where they just remixing. They went from like DeAndre to DeAndre Dre, not a Arachanisha. It's like third generation of fucking fourth generation of welfare right here, man. Yeah, this shit. There she go. This is story right here. Yo, yo, the, yo, the Arachanisha must be one out. Shook the city. It was September 2018 when a well known and well respected business leader was murdered. Police say two young men and a 16 year old girl were riding around downtown that night looking for someone to rob. When they saw Greater Memphis Chamber CEO Phil Trenary walking home from an event, they ended up shooting him. All three were later arrested for first degree murder. And according to court documents we uncovered, the teenage girl, Rickanisha Wright, identified the two men she was with and herself as the individuals responsible for the attempted robbery. Three months later, she walked free. Juvenile court staff says they weren't at liberty to discuss what happened. They told us to contact family. For channel three. So we did. We went to the address listed on court records. A woman answered the door and told us she's Wright's mother. She says after a closed door meeting in December 2018, her daughter was allowed to go home, but had to wear an ankle monitor for six months. Since then, she told us Wright has been doing well until May of this year. Police linked Wright to this shooting in South Memphis. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
She was doing good for she did good. She couldn't do six months on an ankle monitor. Think about this. She was involved in the murder of one of the biggest businessmen in the city. Got told, you can go home. We keep these sun men, but you can go home. And that she, there was no like, oh my God, whoo. Thank God. Let me just I got a new new lease on life. Let me enroll in college and do better for myself. I thought I was done. I thought my life was over. Now I'm free. It doesn't work. That's why I think the people didn't understand why I was riding with brown sugar in that video, man, because none of that stuff works, man. None of your little Here's, fucking bright ideas works. And why are you and the people that come on your panel different? Why do you see the world differently than these other people? They don't. You try to you try to talk to them as a glider. They don't hear the fuck you're saying. They're like, no, you don't get us. And I'm like, well, it's either that or exterminate everybody. Like there needs to be a fucking answer, not like it's it's there's no well, answer. No, I mean, I mean, you like you, 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 you get it. You I'm understand, white, bro? I'm fucking white. Right, well, <laughs> the, yeah, but I'm sure you see the same thing, though. Is what I'm saying. It's not. I wasn't talking about you, your race. I mean, just. Oh. But I get to see both sides. I get to see his, I get to hear gliders whisper about Sunman. Like all these woke gliders, I hear them whispering about Sunman. And Sunman don't give a fuck about being racist. So I get to hear everything about Sunman too, because I grew up with them. I get to hear both sides. Yeah. It, 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 none of your bright ideas, none of the, you know, your little, ah, ah, none of, whatever you are, ah, ah, it ain't yeah. going to work. That's why you just got to cut cats off and then just deal with the bloodshed for like 10, 15 years and then have it tightened up. That way, you, at least you're not funding all this bullshit. At least That's you're not right. paying for it. That's the only, I, I can't think of nothing else. That's why I said you're hug not, a glider. You ain't fu That's what I'm saying. They're not getting nothing from the government. Those yes, dudes like, that killed him, who, they ain't getting nothing from the government. Who gave birth to that? Those dudes. Everybody, all women gay, but everybody on the in government, world. brown sugar, start somewhere. You you looking at the dude? I'm looking at the lady that got knocked up with three different baby daddies in fucking family court, getting tax and cash for dough. Okay, I'm do you like I did AP? Okay. <laughs> All right, man. No, your idea is really good. They just magic themselves here. You can't do shit about it, and that's that. Why are we even? Why don't we go yeah. masturbate then? Because there ain't shit else to do than give up. Brown sugar. He's he's talking about the root of the problem. It all had it all had to start from some chick guy, some chick being irresponsible with with a coochie, and then she produced one. Of the, she produced one of these super groups. We we probably got her irresponsibly. I mean, I who knows? I, but we didn't. You know, that, out here I, robbing people. I mean, so what's your point? If you pay people to be shitty people, you're gonna get shitty people. So every time someone lets a loser bust a nut in them, but you and they gotta get, understand. They get a and check, this is a oh lot of God. kids. A lot of kids right. come from two parent homes. They they mama make a lot of money, and they still choose to go out and act like thugs too. So what about them people? What because like? in the PG County where I, where uh, my but that's a, that's because like look at the culture that's been accepted that my homies my, uh, a few of my homies they were doing better than me and did armed robberies because they was trying to like show out and th this is what was acceptable this is what got you clout this is what got you pussy yeah yeah so I mean, like yeah you got to change the whole deal you, I, like I hear you but like I don't know what else to say except for move to Alaska or some shit but I heard it's rough up there too. Yeah, I, I was gonna do a video on that, but I never get. I didn't get a chance to the other day. Yeah, I may do that. I, I like that that gonna work. Like I said, the only thing that's gonna work a little bit, or maybe kind of, is if you throw the book at them. If they know they're gonna get this amount of time for doing this type of crime, and have a lot of cops around, uh, free free and all this stuff, it will slow down the crime. I agree. Yo, I, look, I'm not AP, so I, I don't know what you was arguing about, but I agree with you all the way with that shit. You, but you got to do them both at the same time. You gonna need like, like those like those five cops. You gonna need a lot. You gonna need a lot of cops like that to, to deal with, deal with the kind of violence that would that would erupt from uh, from you know from cutting programs off. Yeah, let me. Yeah, and who are allowed to do it without fear of prosecution? Yeah, yeah. and you have to and you have to encourage the public to actually shoot back these motherfuckers. 
And but like, look at the culture we're in. It's like we celebrate dudes that turn out fucking fourteen year olds, and yeah. get paid off of them. And then we try to talk like them, dress like them. Like that's not right. You know, I like, just, I like I like I like Project Pat. But if he kicked my door down, he's he's getting he's getting some hot lead. It's as simple as that. I know the difference between fantasy and reality. These guys don't. They want to turn that stuff into a reality. Because they live amongst it. Oh, you yeah. Live the yeah. yeah. And I mean, also, the the fantasy is built to cater to aspects of their nature that the people that are that are constructing the fantasy understand that they're they're hitting on those points that are that are deep seated and exacerbating it. Yeah, I mean, if that's if that's true, then that's wicked, man. Told us she's Wright's mother. She says after a closed door meeting in December 2018, her daughter was allowed to go home but had to wear an ankle monitor for six months. Since then, she told us Wright has been doing well until May of this year. Police linked Wright to this shooting in South Memphis. Court documents state Wright got into a fight with a guy over money. It turned physical. The next day, she and her brother were seen walking down the street by this woman who didn't want to be identified. He had on a white hood, a long sleeve hood in the middle of the summertime, 100 some degree heat, and he walked like he was coming towards her. And I asked him, I said, what you finna do, try to rob her? Moments later, investigators say Wright started vigorously flagging down the guy she got into a fight with the day before. He was driving his 2003 green Honda Accord on South Cooper Street. He slowed down, and Wright's brother pulled a handgun from his waistband and shot the guy in the back. We thought he was shooting it up. We jumped down behind our truck because we had said something to him. A few weeks later, Wright was taken into custody and charged with attempted first-degree murder. And Wright remains locked up. Her mother tells us she was eight months pregnant at the time of the arrest and recently gave birth. <laughs> he gave birth in prison. That's what we're talking about. And then the glider's gonna have a sob story about this kid in fucking 20 years, like she ain't do nothing, and now he's amazing, and look at him. And that's the that's how it keeps going. The yeah. jury was all white. The cop yeah. that arrested her was racist. So she, she they would have killed somebody, but the cop who just happened to be the one who put the cuffs on her, uh, he used the N-word in 1974, so. Nah, she done for her, like she's not getting out. No, nah, but her son's gonna fucking suck. That's my point. Maybe just pray for him. Nah, pr prayers ain't done shit for Memphis. Salute the. Uh, they don't pray in Memphis. They just say they do. Yeah, prayer salute. works. You know they ain't doing it in Memphis. Salute the Deluxe <laughs> Four Seven, aka Cal Ripken, aka the real MVP, coming through once again. Salute to Aster J. He says, the return of Brown Mammy, starring Brown Sugar. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm tired of all this Mammy shit. <laughs> oh, shit. See, it's on tour. A few weeks later, Wright was taken into custody and charged with attempted first-degree murder. And Wright remains locked up. Her mother tells us she was eight months pregnant at the time of the arrest and recently gave birth while she was incarcerated. She also told us her brother, who is 15 years old, was also arrested just days after he was injured in a separate shooting. As for the Trinary case... <laughs> it's like a big bowl of sand, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's just a bullet <laughs> magnet for a family. Now, I will say, if we, if we hold the parents accountable for their children... The actions that they do for their children when they, they're like 17 and under, I think that would work a lot better than taking away food stamps, welfare, and all that other crap. Because, what like I said, everything? what about everything? Because, like I said, what, what if the parents not receiving it? They just got some terrible, horrible children. Well, then it won't matter, but for the fucking exactly. that so, do, but if no, we but hold like, them accountable for their children actions, okay, but what about it would start. Why no, you want to? Why, why you want to keep paying cats though? That's what I what I want to know. You act like just because some people that aren't on welfare do crime doesn't mean you shouldn't. Uh, I don't like. The I, don't like that Corey, shit. I don't like Corey Bush, but all our money together come in the country come together pay her salary. So what's the point? I don't even know who Corey Bush is, man. She's from Missouri, uh, representative from Missouri. Oh. Yeah, yeah, another another race baiter, troublemaker. Exactly. I think Brown Sugar, correct me if I'm wrong, but your your concern is. Uh, you don't want kids. You don't want kids starving or, or being um being not being unsupported from from that from that kind of action. Is that is that correct? 
You say what again? Repeat that. I'm sorry. You, you don't want kids to starve. You don't want kids being cut off and starve, being starved because they're not because they're not being fed through these programs. Is that is that correct? Yeah, like if they're like me, I believe I understand that we're gonna always have the poor, and so like if they're children and they need uh help, you know, getting fed every day, I don't have no problem feeding the poor through taxpayer uh I do. funded dollars. Be careful because are you a grandfather? Do you have grandchildren? I just got a kid. Okay, be careful because you never know what situation your grandchildren could end up in. To say well, that. then I would, you know, I would take care of my kids because that's my fucking family. I don't need the things to happen. Step things and oh well, happen. that's my bad luck, I guess. But like, I, I, mm. I I agree with both. I say yeah. They, I think with, I think children. I think, I think children ought to be protected, but but adults. Yeah, they, protect the children. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. I'm Join a fucking church. Children. Join a church. Have, have your I, community I look out for you. I I, it, I agree with more, that too. That's that's actually that's, 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 that's I agree with that. I agree. I would. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, I agree. Yeah, I agree okay. with that before a government program. I think churches and communities and families. Are the best support is the best support system and the most accountable support system you can have compared to anything the government can uh, can, can create. That's the thing, man. Like you, you fuck up, like you fuck up. Your homeboy loans you some money and he checks you, like, yo, bro, you can't keep doing this type shit. The government don't do that. They just give you more money. Like here, here, man. Like, oh, you had a kid out of wedlock. Here, take some more money. They don't check you. Don't, there's no shame. There's nothing. The the church will hold you accountable at least. Have you going yeah. to? Church, pretending like you're praying. The church not even uh, preaching against uh, premarital sex like they used to. I think if they start by preaching against it and drilling to the minds of the young people and getting them convicted about it, then yeah, it could work on ultimately, down the road, but they're not doing that. And everybody not a Christian. Everybody don't go to church either. Ultimately, ultimately you need you need men who aren't, who are not afraid of pissing off black women. Ultimately, that's what you need because a lot, cause a lot of these programs... Are, are bolstered by this thing that we all, oh, we have to protect black women, we have to care for black women, black women is queen and all that other BS. You know, you need, you need guys who say no, you know, you need, you need to put you need to put y'all in check. Y'all y'all fucking up, y'all fucking up the rest, y'all fucking up things for everybody else. So no, we're, we're not we're not going to put up any more of your BS. You know what? The man and a woman need to come together, get a job, and just take care of their child. But sometimes things happen. Sometimes a man run away. Sometimes a woman run away. And that person's left alone with their child, they can't do all their own. So they will need government assistance. I'm not saying live on the government forever, but no. utilize until you at least get back on your feet. The, the problem with government assistance is that it actually fuels this mess. It, it keeps it it keeps it going because there's because there's no accountability. And anything they actually thrive off, they thrive off the chaos that's created from these programs because then they could just they could just because all the crime that's created from it, they justify the money they spend or other or other nonsense. To keep it going. That's that's why I say I, I that's why I say I'm against government programs uh, taking care of these issues. It has to be done by families. It has to be done by you know community centers. It has to be done by churches. Do you, you look control. like? Does it look like Rick and Nisha have a family? She don't got a family. Yeah. So like her generation might just have to die, but the next one will be straight. Like yeah. The, I don't like. Ugh. Yeah. Basically, you act like we got a people yeah, shortage. Her, someone, man. her child needs to be raised in a loving environment that why? can teach him. How to be a man and what, be responsible? What, what guarantees that? Your your ideas don't guarantee that. Shit. I'm saying I just said her child needs to be in that type of environment. Let me that baby I... get in here. Let me that baby. Oh yeah, he's a baby. Jump in, man. Yeah, I mean, there again, there's a lot of aspects to this. My perspective on this stuff is kind of like you know, at the end of the encyclopedia after Z, there's like auxiliary shit. So I, I like the flow of that your show. It's like footnotes. Like I like the flow of the show. I like what comes out of the show. And the way my mind works about this stuff, there's a lot of extra other stuff that doesn't exactly fit into the flow. For example, um, you're talking about these, you know, solutions or potential, you know, things that can fix parts of these problems. But the trouble is the essential element in all this is that there are fundamental differences on the whole, on average, between sun people and gliders. And there's a difference, there, there are differences in people's attitude toward resources and the availability of resources. If sun people as a general population are shown that they can just be given resources 
through the mechanisms of these, these glider mechanisms that they would have never come up with for a million years if they hadn't been uh, displaced into a glider um, society. You mean sold by if some they, people to a glider huh? society? You mean sold by yes, other sun people? How, like, yes. Let's call what it is. Yes. You want However, start, you want to start naming shit? Name it. Well, that's not. I'm the only reason I don't elaborate on it because that's not the point. We all know how that worked. No, but we I'm don't. Saying actually, no, nah, we don't. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. So let me just talk about what I'm actually talking about. Okay. Cool. By whatever means, by whatever means, and whatever description, large population of sun people are displaced into a alien different kind of society that's based on a different kind of psychology that deals with status and resources fundamentally differently so if it's displayed to them if that larger surrounding european context displays and demonstrates to them that they can have free access to the resources that matter in that society that, which is different than the resources that matter to them if you look at how some people you know spend their money like the guy who won $30,000, $40,000 in the lottery and spent 30000 of it on a necklace, which promptly got swiped. Yeah, it's up in my uh, city. They got a name for exactly. it. Exactly. So, but the, the, the point is, when the, when the greater society demonstrates to the, the Sun Society that you can just, we, we're just going to give you free shit, that, that's, that's going to change the attitude of sun people toward resources in that society because they don't honor they're not conscientious about participating they're in an alien world that the the way that status works in that world isn't the way that it works to them and so yeah they're going to be the, the way that they the way that people build these communities is just different so that that pipeline of free resources all the time is just going to be something that they're just going to expect they're not going to be conscientious about ex appreciating it and honoring it and giving back and stuff. They're just going to expect it. So it's no, me, it's, me, no it's no, awful, it's no, just being on welfare for a couple of years until you get on your feet. Right. Well, the the reason you would think that it's about being on welfare for a couple of years until you get on your feet is because you have a certain attitude about your position in the society, which is conscientious and honorable, and that's not what some people on average are doing. If you say that you can have resources, they'd be like, "Yeah, damn right," you know. The, the only problem I got, the only problem I got with that thought is like, these are, you know, like, can you tell me how how people behave before the government started giving people shit? It's if that's how cats behave their whole fucking life, they didn't, yeah. they didn't, they didn't lock down the with government. Their wife. The government has been giving people such sh since shit since of uh, you know re reformation or whatever since, since the civil war man since emancipation. What, but, what, but even, what even before that wasn't even before that it wasn't called bread and circuses. That was no Romans, that's different. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's I mean, going, okay. I mean going going way back. That's what I'm talking about. It's, they they gave stuff away, but it wasn't for wasn't necessarily for their benefit. It was really just kind of no, keep, but we're keep things peace. But I guess in no sense peaceful at the time. All right, so let uh, so attack my idea. Let's say we stop. I I got. I'm like halfway on a uh, on brown sugar. Like we lock cast up and we stop giving people free shit. Then I'm what telling happens? you, locking. I'm telling you, being tough, tougher on crime, tougher sentences, stiffer penalties, actually uh, making them pay the fines, actually serving them warrants, like. Knocking at their door, looking for all that stuff, gang unit, drug units, frisking them, stopping them, pulling everybody over. Stop! You can you can just start with giving everybody a ticket every time they start speeding in the city of Memphis. I guarantee you, after a while, all this speeding in the city will stop. All right, so brown. It's sugar. not hard to get black people, well, people, period, in general, especially our people. It's it's not so, as hard as y'all think it is. No, no, no. Let me show. let me ask you it's this. It's not hard at all. But let me just but let me just all right. So all these things to deter a certain behavior, there's a certain penalty that comes along, whether it's monetary or your freedom, correct? Yeah. So to encourage a certain behavior, one would reason that by giving people money for that said behavior, you'll increase that behavior. Double whammy, double whammy. You're 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 uh 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 
you're not punished according to, you know, you're not, you're not regular behavior isn't regulated and you're also given free shit and the media signals that anytime you're inconvenienced, just as a sun person, anytime you're inconvenienced to stop from doing absolutely anything you want, anytime we're so sorry and it's a big problem and everybody needs to be mad about it. It's a whole, it's, there's every ingredient in the situation lends toward the, the worst possible outcome. Let so me, ba let me move based forward. on your based on your logic, brown sugar, you should be agreeing with me. Let me move along right quick. Um, Leroy B says the panel are idiots. Brown sugar is correct. Okay. <laughs> Nobody uh, dis. I don't think anybody on here disagrees that the no. it's obviously reasonable for the law to be applied properly. That guy's. Right. You know what? I was I was on the fence about being wrong, but since that guy said that. <laughs> I stand corrected, man. Can yeah, man. I, I write him a postcard? Last job. Let me move along, man. Let me move along. Good shit. Um. Charged with attempted first degree murder. And Wright remains locked up. Her mother tells us she was eight months pregnant at the time of the arrest and recently gave birth while she was incarcerated. She also told us her brother, who is 15 years old, was also arrested just days after he was injured in a separate shooting. As for the Trenary case, the chamber told us today, out of respect for the family and the judicial process, it would be inappropriate for us to comment on the case at this time. The case is set to go to trial at the end of the year. Jessica Gartler, WREG, News Channel 3. Damn. Um, whew. Um. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out, like, you have people complaining about the five cops that got arrested. It's like, oh, they got arrested so fast because they're black. I'm like, come on now. Which one got? Oh, 